Don't worry too much about it. It was only like FYI. Composer and creative at orchestral <laughs> two tools and flautist at you know principal. Your principal flautist, right? Yeah. Thanks. Nice. Lovely. I am principal flautist. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> right. We're about to go live. Sweet. Sweet. All right. Cool. Going live. We're live. Hello everyone, it's Archie here from the QTube. We're here to um, review your streams for uh, the QTube Spring animation edit. Um, I'm here with Claire Wicks, who is a composer and creative with Orchestral Tools, and she is principal flautist at ENO. Uh, that's the English National Opera. Um, hi, Claire. <laughs> Nice to be here. Hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Uh, I'm looking forward to hearing these. Yeah. Um, so I think we'll just we'll just go straight into it as long as there's no objections with anyone in the chat. I hope the picture's okay and everything. Uh, I'm not seeing anyone say they hate it. So yeah, cool. Okay. That's a good start. Great. Um, so we're gonna just hop into the first one actually. So this is from someone called Larry Messer. Um, I think I've reviewed Larry's stuff before. So thanks, Larry, for sending that in. Um, let me get this up on here. Great. So here we go. All right. This is Larry's piece. Cool. Nice. I think. Uh, all La right. Nice one. Larry managed all the great hit points there. Actually, um, really. Yeah. I, yeah. I thought the spotting on it was really good. Yeah. Really good telling of the story. I think. Um, like good. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think there could have um, perhaps been smoother transitions between some of those uh, little spotting parts. For example, like um, when we hear the tree falling, it can kind of like the the strings were building and stuff which was great um but it could have come back down before the tree fell and then moved us into the next section i think but but yeah yeah i was going to say something similar which is that it's actually okay to have moments of silence or you know not a lot happening at certain points in the right, score yeah. you know it was quite full on the whole way through so the mood changes were really good yeah. but like you say you end up with one mood and then suddenly another whereas you can do those transitions maybe a little bit more gradually, you know, taking something in from nothing. I kind yeah. of noticed it at the beginning, um, that moment where there's that, um, there's that sound in the sound design of the film, which I know makes it really difficult to score from when yeah. I've done a rescore yeah, of this. Yeah, <laughs> um, Which is that thumb, bum, 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 the really pitched sound when we get 
spring coming up at the beginning and I really felt the music go out and then we heard that and then come abruptly back in again right yeah there I thought maybe it could have just been a little bit um a little bit more kind of a blurry transition yeah, so that we yeah. didn't necessarily notice like and now we're back into the soundtrack yeah I mean know? that also could have been helped with um I think even you could even just wash it out a bit more with a bit of reverb like um it sounded yeah. like the strings were very much in your face which is nice but um I think with a nice reverb tail you can like kind of naturally create those smooth transitions like without even doing anything <laughs> basically yeah you're and just it, sort of it, using it, the paintbrush of yeah, reverb yeah. a little bit <laughs> it just it just it just like yeah, it just mixes a bit nicer and all blends together. Yeah, but um, totally. But I thought he had a really good use of the orchestra, though. Like, definite yeah. understanding of how to use the different sections. Oh, completely, yeah. And the brass came in in that darker sort of chase scene that worked really well. Yeah, really nicely orchestrated, I think. Yeah. Yeah, totally. And maybe there's just some things in the string programming as well that could raise it to the next level. Mm -hmm. Because I found some of the string chords a little bit blocky almost like right. the, you yeah. know, like how yeah, you play yeah. them on a keyboard which you put down three notes and you hold mm -hmm. and sorry I have a keyboard here <laughs> you can't see it um <laughs> yeah too. and instead maybe thinking a little bit more about how a string orchestra actually play together and sometimes that's sustained chords sometimes one section might move yeah exactly. or the voicing of the chords might change within something just so we have like a little bit more life and then, of course, coming a little bit more into expression and dynamics as well. Yeah. Which, I mean, for my taste, could have been a bit more like um, a more obvious, range. like within the phrases. Yeah. 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 I think um, to kind of get that more realistic, um, like symphonic sounding or uh, like string sound or string programming, um, I mean, it's really quite easily done. I don't know how Larry did it, but if he's able to just like you know separate out each part and then just move like get his um chord progression and just literally write in the parts there's you know plenty of videos and stuff on youtube that you can watch that will that can help you out with that um yeah, yeah totally so yeah. that you're definitely using the different actual string sections and then thinking about say if you're like celli and basses they they quite often might be doubling the same line an octave apart yeah, but right. then you can start to think about, about different articulations so maybe the basses just articulate the start of a chord with a pizzicato yeah or yeah. you know maybe they're doing some kind of spiccato like shorter articulation that keeps the pace driving forward whilst everything else is sustained or yeah you yeah. know just starting to think about mixing up with a few of those ideas i wondered yeah, it... but i especially noticed it in the strings whereas i thought the other sections were a little bit more realistic yeah I agree. Yeah, it can create some really nice. There's l like a lot to play with by just reducing it down to the individual instruments and um, using different techniques between the instruments. You can create like such a nice range of of textures. But yeah. Yeah. Great, totally. Yeah. Great job, Larry. Um, yeah, I just really good job. <laughs> I just remind people that um, the way you can get these um, clips that we're doing um, is now through our YouTube Patreon. So head to the link, which I'm sure is the, down below or, you know, on other videos um, where you can head to the Patreon. For as little as one pound a month, you can get these clips that we're pumping out. We've got some great new clips coming for you. So, yeah, and you'll be able to um, rescore and upload for these kind of things that we're doing, the live streams where we review. Cool. OK, so on to the next one. Um, this is by someone called Julian Jahan Poor. I hope I'm not butchering his name, but uh, sorry if I am. <laughs> okay. Great.
of Lee. All right, nice one. There yeah. was some really creative yeah. stuff in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was really cool. Uh, yeah, really nice. Um, yeah, change of sections, like we said before, and good use of like silence between transitions. I thought, like like we said before, well, not silence, but you know, a, a, a breath. It's good to take a breath between between the different sections. Yeah. Yeah, like when the the icicle thing gets dropped, and then there was just kind of a moment before, yeah, like yeah. like like when you're actually telling a story, where it's like, well, we're waiting to see what happens, and then we're into the next completely mood. Yeah. So the music's not trying to prefigure what we're about to see on screen. It's like telling the story alongside it. So that was nice. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I really liked before the uh, before the opening credits. Um, <laughs> credits title. Um, there was that like a sort of icy. I guess synthy sort of sound. I thought that was really nice. Yeah. Kind of like set the mood. Yeah. I could yeah. have almost had more of that than being brought into the rest of the score because I thought, oh, this is really atmospheric. This really suits this. Like it's the end of winter, and and then we only had it really before, unless I missed it. But I only really heard it before that opening title, and then I didn't hear it in the rest of the score. No. Yeah, you're right. Um, I I did though. I like the um kind of like harp like. It it felt a bit like umpapari, not quite, but you yeah. know, like it, like I kind of like that actually. Like we're just following this character, um, as they experience, you know, something new. We're not quite sure what's going on until we hear like all the until, um, we see all the trees falling down and stuff, and then it it turns dark. But yeah, I liked that. I liked the use of the harp, and it it w it was. I think it was on its own pretty much, um, which is something that doesn't usually quite cut through and it's just usually like a supporting instrument, isn't it? Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's nice to hear the harp getting its its moment in the spotlight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I have to say, I mean, I've listened to a lot of scores, of rescores of Spring, and I don't think I've heard anyone approach that section in like waltz time. Yeah, you know? yeah. Uh, so I just thought that was like a nice, yeah, that, interesting idea. That was lovely. Cool. Yeah. Um, also, that um, right at the beginning, the like orchestra tuning up kind of noise. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that. That was that's that really was clever. Great. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, loved it. I got it. I got to work out how to do that. That's kind of kind of <laughs> yeah. a cool way to start a score. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> like this score to um, like the beginning of Tenet, isn't it? You hear the orchestra t tuning up. Um, have you seen that? Oh, they do that in that. Yeah, no, yeah. No, I've not. The first scene of Tenet, they um. It's an it's an orchestra and you like the first thing you hear is the them tuning up and it just sounds great. It really brings you into it straight away. So I don't know. Maybe oh, maybe sweet. that was an inspiration <laughs> point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as I hear that noise, then I, my hands automatically go like that. It's like I want to yeah. like play my A. a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Lo uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, we're gonna press on. Um, yeah. No, I like that. The meet the meeting might end, but actually I'll just. Uh, if it does, I'll just get you, I'll probably quickly send you the link again and then we can just... Uh, yeah, I think I can then. probably just rejoin you. Cool. Okay. Just go on without me. <laughs> <laughs> so this is from someone called Alicio Demeco. Alicio Demeco. Lovely. Um, and this is a rescore that they've done. Cool. Actually, I'm not hearing anything. Oh, you're not. Okay, that's fine. Um, Sorry. Give me a second. Were yeah, you? Yeah. I was. Oh, apologies. Be, Maybe everyone else just was. Um, I thought maybe it was a very like chill beginning to the <laughs> score, but then. Um, can you hear? Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Yeah, it did start off in silence, which I was a bit confused too. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. We'll just skip to yeah, where the yeah. score actually starts cool. then, and then. Lovely. 
from here. That was awesome. <laughs> cool. I didn't see that coming at all. Yeah, neither. <laughs> that was really great. That took me by surprise, but that was that was awesome. Yeah, such a great approach. I mean, most people went for an orchestral rescore, but um, I mean, I I am an advocate for not just going for an orchestral rescore. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I thought that was great. I mean, I think the first sort of half before the trees fall down must have been like maybe just one instrument and you know a bit of improv or something finding yeah. a cool little theme and then playing with that which which I loved and then and then bringing that sound back later on <coughs> sorry excuse me um and w with all these supporting like drums and stuff was that was just really cool <laughs> I thought yeah yeah that was cool the kind of intense was it like the electric guitar sound sort of coming in the in the yeah yeah chase scene yeah yeah um yeah the only thing i thought about it because i really like that the whole concept of using that style of music and the kind of like epic percussions coming in um but i thought the spotting could have maybe been a bit more subtle right yeah um so like when you when you bring things in and out is what i mean by that yeah, um yeah. just because i felt that that guitar theme actually it we were almost already on the run by the time it started. Yeah. And so, you know, you could kind of build into it a little bit more rather than, you know, almost felt like, oh, we we're already going with that scene. And then we began to like really get going with the music. Yeah. So maybe that could come a bit earlier or, or somehow the transition could be yeah. a bit smoother. I think it could. And even... then there's that moment where the, <laughs> sorry. No, yeah, yeah, no, keep going. <laughs> I was going to say there's like that moment where the dog almost dies and then he doesn't um <laughs> and i just feel like it, you need some acknowledgement of like yeah we're still in the intense like chase it could still all go wrong we could still lose the crystal but at least the dog's still okay yeah yeah you yeah, know completely. it's got to have that like little let up and then we go again and then there's full stop right know? yeah yeah definitely so I thought maybe there's just room for a bit more subtlety in the spotting there mm. maybe just i could even be done with like um like just literally extending that kind of oh Ah, uh, the, the stream's cut out. Okay, hang on. Uh, let's see if we can get back in just quickly. Where is Claire? Claire, are you there? Lovely. Okay, admitting Claire now. Apologies. <laughs> no, sorry about that. Um, all sorted great um yeah sorry what were you saying no i was, I was gonna say um it could even just be done with like um extending that uh chase sequence um cue or like section and literally just fading like putting a, a fade on the master that just kind of like brings it all in maybe with some like whoosh sounds or something like that um yeah just to bring us into that yeah 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 totally 
Or like, you know, in a moment where you want just a little bit of attention to come off, then just easing off the drums and then bringing them back in with as much intensity again or, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like it doesn't have to be a complicated thing, but yeah, just, yeah. just making sure that you're always following the story. Because I thought right at the beginning there was a nice moment where, you know, when she first like puts the crystal into the stick, lights up the first time. Yeah. And that was the first time we heard like a major chord. And so I thought that's, that right. was really nice, like kind of musical painting. And there was that, almost that like tremolo kind of sound going with it. Um, it was quite like angelic, so yeah. that was really really nice. So it's definitely there's some in there, but it could just yeah, be lovely. more kind of tailored. Cool. Um, someone said in the chat, does Claire have a YouTube page? Claire, do you wanna do you, you wanna? Claire does give... have a YouTube <laughs> yeah. page. <laughs> uh, yes, I do. I'll write something in the chat. Lovely, great, <laughs> um, cool. So yeah, go and follow Claire on uh, Insta and on YouTube Please. and stuff. She does great <laughs> demos for orchestral yeah. tools, products. Yeah. Um, cool. Well, we'll press on to the next one. Uh, we've got two more. Uh, so this is from someone called Anthony Verano. Sweet. Lovely. Oh, and it sounded quite cool already. <laughs> Just share that. Great. Nice one. God, these are all so different. It's, yeah. it's wicked to hear them all. Yeah, great to hear. Uh, that was awesome. I thought that built so beautifully in the, you know, in the first, like that first section up and up until where the trees start falling down. Um, yeah, just really like taste, yeah. tastefully done. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was very, I was trying to work out what that, um, do you, did you work out what that noise was that was sort of like slightly random, but like in a nice atmospheric way that was going on in the background? It sounded a bit like a kalimba or something, but I couldn't quite oh, place I, it. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, that kind of plucky. Yeah, because I heard like maybe. Pitched percussion noise. Yeah, I heard a little bit of like, um, you know, like strings coming in and out, I think. Um, like maybe just some violin like themes or something, motifs. Um, oh yeah that was lovely and i like that sort of um ethereal choir kind of thing yeah yeah um that worked really really well for this as well yeah they, they've really showed their like unique voice here i think really cool it sounds yeah. as well um it it just sounds like one really nice cohesive cue i think um which yeah, yeah it worked really well but, now this is vaguely similar to what i said in the last one though i think they were very very different um but i also did feel in this that the 
um, when the like beat dropped in it, it came at a slightly random point. Right. Yeah. And I just wondered whether that could be brought in a little bit more subtly. Yeah. Likewise, it stopped before I thought it would. <clears throat> yeah. Because it was like, oh, this is. I mean, it was really cool was and it sounded that. amazing. Yeah, it was like but... it, it, it was teasing yeah. us, and then it was like, no, you know, give me more. <laughs> that, yeah. That was yeah exactly. Cool... I know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Re- yeah. Maybe that's part of the trick. Leave your yeah. audience wanting more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe. I think I'm, maybe I'm missing yeah. out on that. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah give it all away yeah but um no but i liked it but i thought that, that could maybe be a bit more subtle and i don't know about um for you but for me it was mixed a little too loud when the beat dropped right yeah i think so i think before that like it was... that i felt it almost clipping a tiny bit yeah yeah i think compared so compared to everything else um but yeah overall i think it was just yeah really lovely a great atmosphere created you know within the um you know, yeah. not 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 just um, like not responding to what's on screen, but like adding to what's on screen, if that makes sense. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, and I kind of like I always find myself coming back to this with this particular clip that it I find it more satisfying when people write in keys that correspond to that uh, noise in the sound yeah. design. Yeah, because that was in that I think at the start he was kind of in B minor there, which works really well with the it's like a C sharp B C sharp F sharp yeah. at the beginning, and it just it always jars for me when people don't write in a key that corresponds to that, even though I know it's the sound design and not part of the score. Yeah. But I mean, it yeah, feels I... like then they've kind of just glazed over it. Yeah, for me. I mean, when I wrote the score like the first time before I even had anything to do with the YouTube, like I I entered the I entered the first score relief. And I think literally like my main theme was just based on those four notes. Like, That's just, exactly what I did. Yeah. <laughs> just so that I knew yes. I had that bass covered basically. And it wasn't like, totally. I wasn't gonna, <laughs> you know, I wasn't going to screw it up in it. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I did like a that. string theme that was like, da da <laughs> yeah, <da-da>. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. I think maybe yes. Brian had that in mind when he edited it or something. But yeah. Yeah. Really well. well, and it presents a really interesting <laughs> challenge. Yeah. But I think you can tell when people have gone, I'm not going to deal with that. And yeah. just kind of like brushed past it. But ultimately, if you've got a pitched element in the sound design, Might as well you know, you've got to work it. with yeah. it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I thought that was nice. Cool. Anyway, I'm rambling. No, no, no. <laughs> Great stuff. This is the last one. This is by Lucian Rhodes. Um, so great stuff cool um, share screen share sound share video <laughs>
Yeah, I thought that was cool. Um, yeah, that was that was interesting. I mean, I think it was really quite ambitious to um, like mix some like electronic drums and orchestral elements, but that, I think they pulled it off quite nicely, actually. Um, yeah. Y- yeah. Yeah, I thought it was a really really interesting combination there. And um, like from the sort of first 30 seconds of the score, again, I never expected that we would get like electronic drum kit coming in. Yeah. Right. But um, but yeah, I was really nice. I thought the build in that was really good to that, you know, to that sort of climactic moment where she stops, yeah. she, where she manages to not get crushed. I agree. And at what, um, was, what was left after that, it kind of um, like it was a nice transition from the electronic drums back to these like acoustic drum sounds. It, I don't know, it just wa- yeah. it wasn't jarring at all to me, which I I feel like it can be easy to make that sound probably quite jarring. Um, yeah. yeah, between that, the kind of more acoustic-y sort of sounds yeah, yeah. and non-acoustic. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I think after that, um, like, uh, the sort of resolution at the end, though, they could have probably dared to do even a little bit less like yeah definitely you know it didn't because it kind of kept the the pace and everything and actually it can just be a bit like oh we can relax now yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know? which but is probably I like what they the went character back to that is sound thinking. world that yeah yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> yeah but yeah this yeah lovely stuff okay i think we'll... yeah it was good sort of continuity through there as well wasn't there yeah yeah brilliant i love the um i think it was um nice i i heard you kind of hear just like you just heard some like low tremolo um before like as as it was building um before the drums came back in which was nice so yeah there was good room to breathe and good continuity between the the start of the the piece and then you know the chase sequence yeah so, yeah lovely awesome it's cool to see how many people have gone for like that composer producer crossover yeah. angle with this yeah i love to hear that honestly it's, it's- yeah, I gen- it's genuinely not something I ever considered. Like, I've got to open my mind more, you know? Yeah, completely, <laughs> completely. I think there is so much to learn in, um, you know, just even like like pop music or, you know, um, something like that. Just, just as a composer, you know, just listen to the sounds that they use and then turn it into something that can be used as part of a f- uh, film score is really cool. 1975 is a big one for me i like their music and their new album yeah. have, has been like a big influence on some stuff i've been trying lately and stuff so yeah that kind of thing is oh cool, is cool. i gotta check that out then yeah yeah nice cool can I, can I make one tiny and this is really really picky but one tiny critique of that last incident has happened but before the chase the tempo was sort of significantly faster than in than in the intro you know and I reckon it was, pro- it's, I can sort of almost imagine how the like project looked in the door where you, you yeah. go, that's my hit point and that's my next hit point. So I have to have my BPM go up this much in a section, you yeah, know, where you get yeah, that. Yeah. But because we had, because it was so rhythmic, it didn't feel quite right to me. And in a way, I'd have rather had it stay a bit more consistent in the tempo if we're going for that kind of like consistent beat thing yeah. than have that sort of like tempo block where it feels a bit hurried yeah. and then just have your hit point either, you know, when the thing falls, then it could just be abrupt in the middle of a bar. It doesn't necessarily have to line up with another first beat. Completely. Yeah. Um, yeah you yeah. know, or you could sort of sneak in like a two four bar in there. Between yeah. The four fours yeah, or something. yeah. You know, yeah. just that tempo changes aren't always the way that you have to deal yeah. with yeah. particular spotting. Yeah, definitely. Or even just, you know, um, w- like wait until you can kind of bring it in quite um, more naturally um before you bring those drums in so maybe if you want to you know just make a little uh tempo change in the music when it's just some sort of atmospheric sound or something like that um that yeah. that usually sounds a bit more natural uh than yeah than that it can go under the radar <clears throat> yeah, yeah yeah i mean i do that, that said, all the time i you know perhaps it is just a difference in how you like read that scene because i see that part of the scene which i was feeling a bit hurried as like oh it's just the awakening of nature and all yeah. the trees yeah i see that as kind of like a oh it's all gonna be fine bit before it goes wrong and she drops the crystal but perhaps that was just a difference in interpretation maybe 
other people see that as like a foreshadowing of like things are a bit off. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I, I, I accept responsibility that uh, there are many ways of looking at it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, completely. Yeah. Cool. Um, well, I think we'll leave it there then. Um, thank you so, so much, Claire um for yeah, that, joining that's me on been this really fun no Great. it's nice to just uh, it's nice to join you and to just chat about these awesome scores it's cool to see what people submit yeah amazing thank you so much um, for well, massive well done to everyone whose yeah, score yeah. we heard they, that was like re five really cool different interpretations yeah hopefully uh some i don't think anyone is in the chat but um hopefully they see this this will go up on youtube after so yeah thank you so much to those of you that submitted scores um, sorry if we didn't get to uh, review yours today, but um, you'll be able to get an opportunity next time again if you head to the QTube's Patreon. One pound a month is all it takes to get these clips. Um, send us a score and we'll see if we can uh, review it next time. Cool. Thanks so much for tuning in, everyone. Hope you have a great evening. Bye-bye.